How I create content for Instagram. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. I appreciate you all so much. If you enjoy my videos, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and make sure you turn your post notifications on so you're aware when I create a new video. Today, we're gonna go through my content creation process for Instagram. I was originally gonna do for Instagram, YouTube, TikTok and everything all together, but I realized there's just way too much information so we're going to have to break it down. Basically, if you've known me for a while, you know that I've been posting on Instagram for years. I think the last couple years I've been a little bit more intentional with my posting. I've had a bit more of a schedule and I do plan my content. So I thought I would go through all my tips and tricks, everything that I do to get myself organized and all the tools that I use for my content creation on Instagram. If you don't already follow me on Instagram, please make sure you go have a look at my Instagram, which is where I post most of my stuff and you will see all the stuff I get out, up to outside of my YouTube videos. But I think the last couple of years, my social media on Instagram specifically has definitely grown. I'm so, so grateful for this. The number of brand deals and collaborations I do get now has allowed me to drop to four days a week of full-time work. So I now work four days a week, which is amazing. And I'd hope that it continues to, social media continues to grow because then I can drop another day. It would be insane. I am by no means an expert on monetizing social media. I'm definitely not there. I really like where I am at now um, in terms of being as authentic as I can through my socials and being able to work with brands that I genuinely connect with and I genuinely feel deeply about. We'll see where it all goes. I'm definitely not an expert around monetization. I have gotten to a point where I do have that very organized and clear content strategy. Okay, the first thing I wanted to go through was actually how I manage creating content while working four days a week. What I do now is I try to make sure that I've scheduled and allocated time on my Fridays, which is my day off work, to create all the branded content content that I want to create or that I need to create. Even if the deadline was weeks from when, I will actually schedule in time to create that content and to edit that content on the Friday. I do do other things on my Fridays as well, but I know if I fill it up with other things, I won't get the time to create good content that I want to create. Along with the branded content that I create on the Fridays, I might have some personal content that I want to post myself, but I make sure I schedule in if there's things that I need to do to edit those pieces of content. If I've got a bit of an idea like morning routine video, or a gym routine video, I will make sure that I scheduled that time in as well, create that video and edit that video on the Friday. With my personal content and with um, anything that's outside of branded content, I love to take videos of things that I'm up to and take videos of everything in life really. I'll take photos and videos and all of that. I might have a lot of content throughout the week from just taking stuff during the week of my everyday life, I then can use for content that I have decided to create. For example, if I'm creating a video around the morning routine or I'm um, taking my dog for a walk or whatever it is, I might already have videos like of Pepper doing something around the house or taking videos of, of a walk that I've been on, or I might wanna do a photo dump of something that I did in the week, but I might already have the photos and videos to go for that. On Friday, I schedule the time to sit there and actually put it all together. Which with the content that I do create, I may not always post those pieces of content during that week. It might be planned for something else at some other point or whatever, but I do have folders on my phone called post on Instagram, post on TikTok, post on YouTube shorts. So I do break it apart or like if there's something that I've posted on Instagram that I'd like to repurpose on TikTok, I will move it to the other folder. I might not have posted it yet, but at least it's there ready to go. I know where it is when I'm on my phone looking to find it. My content game or content strategy isn't really perfect. It's far from perfect. I do sometimes get overwhelmed because there is a lot to do. I am getting there and this is what's working for me so far. So next I thought we would go through the tools that I use to create content for Instagram. And I might go get this item because it is a godsend. The first thing I use all the time is this. <laughs> you don't know what it is, but it's a tripod. Let me show you. It's pretty impressive because it gets so freaking tall. Ta-da! It gets even taller, but I'm not gonna open it up just yet. So the first thing I use pretty much for all my content is my tripod. I absolutely love it. I will link um, what tripod I use in the description below. So feel free to go check it out. It is honestly amazing. None of this content is sponsored. I'm genuinely telling you it is the best thing. I literally take it with me everywhere. It fits into most bags because it's this small. I don't just use it when I go out and take content 
outside somewhere or when I'm not with people, but literally at home when I have no one to take my photos for me, when I'm wearing an outfit or when I'm doing whatever um, piece of content that I need to do, I will use my tripod and use my time self timer to take all my content because it literally gets so tall. It literally mimics a human being standing there posing and doing a few movements in front of the camera. It's just so easy. The only thing is when people are walking by in front of a house, it gets a little bit embarrassing, but if you're a content creator, you kind of learn to live with it. I can't show you what ring light I'm, I use because I'm literally using it to take my YouTube video at the moment, but I also absolutely love my ring light. Another product I will link below. Again, not sponsored. I just love the product. I use a ring light for when it gets dark inside and I still want to create some content or for my YouTube videos, but a lot of my Instagram, I will turn the ring light on in the room to brighten the room before I take my content as well. So I use it all the time. Unfortunately, a ring light is not the easiest item to transport, but I do have a little, um, it's similar to the big softy, but I don't have a big softy, but a little light that I can take in my little bag as well. So I can take that with me and take content um, if I'm out somewhere and I'll still get good lighting, similar to a ring light. It doesn't do the exact same thing as a ring, ring light, but it sort of works. Okay, the next thing that you absolutely need, obviously for content creation, is an iPhone. I use my iPhone 11. It's pretty old. The screen's already cracked, but it is what it is. It does the job. So I use an iPhone 11. I absolutely love it. I also use my iPhone for my YouTube videos. So I am looking to get a separate vlogging camera for my YouTube videos, but I haven't gotten there yet. So at the moment, I'm still using my iPhone. Literally create everything on my iPhone. So definitely worth it. Okay, the other thing that you absolutely need for content creation is making sure you have good storage. Now, I was such a cheapskate around this for such a long time. I had not purchased iCloud storage for, for a very, very long time, but I realized at the end of the day, I literally could not live without it. My storage would get filled up so, so quickly, creating videos, creating content, saving things, and I just needed the extra storage. I think I paid for 100 gig on, on Google Drive as well, because Google Drive is where what I use to send off my content to brands if I'm working with a brand and needing to get it approved. Obviously iCloud is where my own photos and videos get stored. So I would definitely encourage some good storage if you are looking to get into content creation. The last few tools that I use is iMovie and CapCut. Both are free. Both can be used on your phone or on your laptop and both have such advanced facilities as well. I don't use anything that is a paid software for content editing. All of my content is done on iMovie or CapCut. I feel like they've been really, really good for me so far. If I am ever needing to move into needing a paid software later in the future, that might be it. But at the moment, this works for me. The next part of this video, I thought I would go through the different forms of content and what I do for the different different forms of content. The first thing that I create are carousels. So carousel posts are swipe through posts that you can look at multiple different um, photos in one go. For this sort of content, I usually use um, photo dumps of places that I've been, things that I've done, maybe a monthly recap or something. So with this sort of content, I try to mix it up between the things that I've been up to, people I might be interacting with, and just more um, authenticity around my life and what I've been up to. So a little bit more candid with um, photo dumps around my day or like what's been going on. I try to tell a story with it as well. Not always, but if it is a photo dump of a day in the life, I might tell a story of like start to finish. I do also post a lot of my shoot content through carousels as well, because there is just so many good photos that come out of a shoot and I want to share this with the world. So I do use the carousel feature to share this stuff as well. The next form of content that I create are reels, or you can also use these on TikTok videos or YouTube short, but they are uh, short videos that might tell a story or might be around. For reels, I usually use CapCut and I usually edit them so they're nice and short because I do realize people's attention span these days are so little. I don't want to go through a very in-depth talking video. I just do really styling reels or reels of day in the life or something aesthetic or somewhere that I went. Um, but they usually be pretty short and they capture the whole thing in a very short time span. I have been trying to experiment a bit more with voiceovers and doing a bit more longer form content on reels with speaking about my day or what I've been up to, but this is a little bit new for me. And the other type of content that I do is just aesthetic content through reels as well. Recently, I have been loving doing get ready with me's, makeup routines and things like that as well. I love styling my own clothes. So get ready with me's are fun because it means I can put together different looks as well. Okay. And the last type of content that I share on stories, I try to share authenticity as much as I can. Pretty much me, um, exactly what I'd share to my friends is what I'd be posting on my story. I can consider all of my followers on Instagram like my friends. And so it's like I'm sharing with some of my friends what I'm up to, but instead 
the people on my Instagram can look at it. This is where I realize that I can actually connect with my audience. So if I wanted to connect, what is it that I want to tell them? What is it that I want to ask them? What kind of conversations do I want to create? That's the stuff that I'm thinking about when I'm posting on, on stories. I also do try to respond to most of my story DMs um, or replies. I do try to get around to everyone. If there is a comment, I do try to respond to that as well. Okay, the next part of this video is how I plan my content. Normally, anything that is sponsored content has a go live date. So I wanna make sure that I actually post that content on the date that they have decided. And that information goes into my phone calendar. So I already know that that day I need to post that piece of content. I then look at what events I've had in the last week and what um, events that I'd like to share with my audience. And I also look at what content has been lagging behind or like what I haven't posted or shared that I did really want to share. I then go in and schedule these posts around my sponsored content and the go live dates around that. My content calendar at the moment is normally posting on Sundays, Mondays, some Tuesdays and, and some Wednesdays. So depending on how much content I do have in the week, it's either three or four posts in the week. I also look at what posts will be um, reels and what posts will be carousels. And I try to mix it up so we're not having too many of the same form of content as well. When I'm creating my Instagram content for the week, I do look at what YouTube video I have planned for that week as well. Because if I can connect the two on the Wednesday, I will. So if my post on the Wednesday on my Instagram is something that is remotely connected to my YouTube video, I'll try to connect it a little bit more. Along with what I've done so far, I will also then look at what sort of gifted products or contra items I have received in the last week or the last month. And I see whether I can incorporate any of that into my content if I really like the product. For example, if I got them um, received some boots or I received a skincare product that I'm absolutely loving, I might also incorporate that into my content somehow as well. I'll then confirm all of like exactly what I wanna post from the Sunday to the following Saturday not stories, just posts on that Friday that I'm organizing my content. I will usually have tentative dates for content beyond that time as well, but they're all tentative and for the week, I just set it all out. Then what I do is I pull through the dates for those content oh, for those content pieces into my notes app on my phone and I'll title it with whatever is related to that piece of content. I write up my captions on, um, on my iPhone notes. When I write up my captions, I write up the caption, anything that I do need to highlight in the caption if it is branded content, any hashtags I need to use. But then I will also plan out my keywords and my hashtags all in that period of time when I'm writing it in my iPhone notes. I have not used AI for my content creation and my captions just yet. I think there's so much merit in making things easier for yourself by using AI but I'm just not advanced enough for that and I do like to have control over what I'm putting out there so I haven't done that yet it might be something that I look into in the future but not yet quick tip around this so Instagram now allows you to schedule your content and actually have it ready to go live if it's all ready to go on a specific day and time so you can actually skip the step of going back into the app and posting live at the time that you want to post by literally scheduling that content in I think it's going to save so much time for so many creators Creators. I've used it a couple of times myself, but yeah, highly recommend to do that. So really, really good tip. Okay, and finally, what I wanted to go through really quickly right at the end is what I struggle with because I feel like we're so good at looking at content creators and thinking, wow, they're just doing so much and they're just so on top of things all the time. That is not the case. We always get so overwhelmed all the time because there is actually a lot to do, especially if you're like me and you're working on top of creating content on the side. I just wanted to go through what I actually struggle with. I struggle with making sure my content is relevant to what it is that I'm up to. I've got pieces of content that are pending from like six months before because I just never got around to posting it. So I really struggle with that. And sometimes I just end up dropping the ball and not even getting around to posting that piece of content, like the content that I've had in there for six months. For more than six months actually it is a lot more sometimes i get really fearful that i am overdoing it with content and i'm just bombarding people with way too much but you know what i think that's just a mindset i feel like if it's something that you want to do just do it and it doesn't matter what people think i think it's like my own mind fighting myself because i do think that you should do whatever you want but there is also a part of me that's like someone or what are people gonna think and along with that thought is the thought of you're posting too much on social media but it is what it is i also get a bit anxious around the concept of turning everything into content versus enjoying the moment in the moment i try to be really careful to not go on my phone when i'm with people and i take pieces and videos of things but i might not look at it or edit it or put it together or anything until i am on my own and i'm wanting to create content so i try to tackle this but i'm not perfect and the last thing that i struggle with is the backlog oh my goodness i've still got shoots from 
a year ago that I've just like never posted because I've just never got around to it. And I feel like shoot content especially, I have such a backlog. I'm hoping to get through that backlog, but then I'm also creating all this new content. So I just never get around to it. But yeah, that's the last thing. If you enjoyed this video and you want to know more about content creation, please drop your questions below and I will get around to those questions. Or I might create another video around content creation because I do love talking about this stuff. And let me know if you have questions around TikTok content creation, around YouTube content creation, or if you just want to get into content creation, um, do let me know because we do not gatekeep. Or if you want to know more about working with brands um, or pretty much anything around this space, please drop your comments below or send me a message on Instagram because we do not gatekeep. Similarly, if you have better ways of doing things than what I'm doing right now, please do let me know. I am all ears because I love to refine my organization processes. So do let me know. Anyways, if you loved this video and you would like to see more, please make sure to like, comment and subscribe and make sure you turn those post notifications on so you will be aware when I post another video. Thank you so much. Enjoy your days. Sending you all so much love.